Here, Jeremy here, Regional Entertainment News, and we're with my friend Hinder. Cody, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Good it's always you, it's always nice getting to see you. You know, you travel in the area a lot. Last time we caught up was at the Rock Station, and then uh, the Wild Tours with Montley Crew. So this is your first time playing Kansas Crossing. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you had, uh, you know, uh, for the people who aren't watching, you know, you're from Oklahoma City. You do a lot. Uh, what's it like uh, playing there a lot, and then living in a huge metropolis? Uh, Oklahoma City is a huge metropolis. <laughs> oh, uh, no, man, it's cool. Um, you know, Oklahoma City is, is, is a really cool city. It's it's growing, you know, all the time, and it's uh, it's got a lot of cool little entertainment pockets, and it's centrally located. So, like for today, you know, we were it was three and a half hour drive. So, on, this is a one off show for us. So, it was nice to just hop in the bus and you know come on up and do it, and we go home tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about uh, what was your inspiration behind the new song Halo? You know, that song is kind of, yeah. we, we pay attention, uh, you know, online to how people interact with each other. And, and it seems like, especially lately, um, you know, people are just really awful and, and really hateful to each other. Um, you know, and, and, and that was a topic that we, we felt needed to be addressed. And, um, you know, not only that, but you know, I think everybody has like that that holier than thou uh, person in their life. You know, that's always maybe watching from a distance and and kind of looking down at you. You know what I mean? You can kind of you can kind of feel that. So um, we thought it was a, a pretty cool topic to address. Oh, I, I like the song. Uh, you guys come up with some of the coolest lyrics. What's your guys' secret behind that? Do you all sit in a room, or do you like, hey, I got this line or this line? Yeah, usually it's it's Marshall and I. Um, just just kind of sitting around in a, in a room and, and we'll um, you know we'll type everything out so that we can see it and, and really analyze it um, and then we'll just kind of just kind of kick it around until we till we you know we'll just spout out a bunch of stupid stuff you know until until both of us are like yeah I think that's it uh, uh, how many songs would you say are sitting in your vault you guys haven't released yet man that is a great question we, we were just talking about that earlier um, you know, we've, we've, we do so many different um, types of music, so many different genres, um, so we, uh, there's no tell and there's hundreds of songs that we've, we've done and actually fully produced. Uh, Prince had over 2,000 songs at the time of his death, fully mixed and recorded. That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do you have a favorite venue or venues that you guys like to visit and frequent? Um, you know, a lot of the venues that, that have been our favorites over the years have, have come and gone. Um, you know, there, there are some really great, you know, rock staples. Uh, the Machine Shop um, in Flint, Michigan is one. Um, you know, there, there are several that are, that are great throughout the country, but, you know, it's, it's really all about the crowd. You know, as long as, as, long as the crowd comes to a show and they're, they're ready to have a great time, uh, you know, that's all that matters to us. Um, what have you learned over the years of being in a band for so long and growing with each other? Um, you know, I think that communication is, is key. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a, a really, being in a band is almost like another marriage, but you have a lot more people involved, you know what I mean? It's like, um, you have to rely on each other so much and if you don't if you don't communicate things can can go sideways in a hurry so yeah all right and then um do you enjoy uh, music more or whenever you were younger when you were getting into it hmm well i guess that kind of depends uh, to be honest like as a listener um you know i don't i don't really listen to music as much as i did whenever i was younger um you know, now that I do it for a living and it's I'm constantly around it, um, you know, I find myself comparing things that we do to other people's music, and I get kind of bitter and frustrated at times. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't find myself listening to music as much, but I think performing it, I think I, I enjoy it more now. Uh, this is probably an interesting question since you know you guys are on the road and tour buses and you have a few hours to go around the cities and shop when you always buying gear and you run out of room how does that work <laughs> <laughs> well, when, we're, when we're on the road we have to be pretty uh, pretty careful and, and set some boundaries because you know otherwise we'd all go out and buy a ton of stuff and there'd be no room on the bus um, we have one guy in, in particular that's one of our crew guys that we have to keep on a pretty pretty tight rope. He, uh, he likes to bring stuff and clutter it up. 
Uh, all right, can you tell the fans and uh, people about the Lucky 7 Tour and all that? Yeah, so uh, the Lucky 7 Tour, we, we started, um, you know, I think at the beginning of the year. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a precursor to what we thought was going to be our, our seventh full-length album. Um, you know, we, we've kind of decided to switch gears here recently, um, so I'm not really sure if we're going to finish that album um, or if we're just going to kind of release songs, uh, you know, here and there as we see, you know, whenever we feel it's time, I guess. How do you feel about some bands uh, like Collective Soul who don't want to be labeled and other bands who want, uh, do uh, record deals and contracts for a controlling market? You know, I, I see both sides of it. Um, you know, this is our first, um, the, the last two songs, I guess, were our first releases that we've ever put out independently. Um, you know, and it's, it's, it's nice to have a team behind you but you have to have the right team behind you and if you don't um, you know sometimes it's better to just do it on your own I mean there are things that are nice about like really controlling um, every aspect of it you know everything is is your vision um, and I think that's that's kind of cool you know like if I was a music fan I think I would really appreciate getting a final product that was you know that I knew was all um, every aspect was an idea from from the band, not some guy in an office somewhere that that wasn't really related to the project. Uh, a lot of bands now uh, will do uh, projects on Kickstarter or Go Pledge Me, so they can let their fans be involved. Yeah. What, what do you think about options like that? Um, you know, we've we've done a few things like that. Um, you know, I think what was it? Uh, Pledge Music was one, um, but I think they've kind of. Went down a little bit. Went down a little bit. So, yeah, so you kind of have to be kind of have to be careful, you know. And and we want to make sure that if if people are are giving us their money, that it's it's worth it for them. So, um, you know, we try to be careful of that one, you know, whenever we can. All right. Uh, now that you're old, um, you've been on the road, you've learned mistakes, uh, pros and cons about being a musician and working with different people. What advice would you tell yourself or other uh, musicians starting out in the business? Um, you know, I'd say, well, for, for other people, you know, I, I think a lot of bands make the mistake of, of not um, thinking of it as a business right off the bat. Um, obviously, being in, being in a band, you, you know, creativity is first. Everything's about the song. Um, but once you get that, that song, you know, that you feel is, is perfect and, and ready for the masses, you, you have to go into business mode. And, um, you know, you have to learn as many things, um, as many skills as you can, um, so that you don't have to rely on someone else, you know. Um, you know, for us, uh, you know, thankfully, uh, you know, for myself, I learned quite a few things. Um, so now I can do different jobs that I previously had to rely on people at the, the record label to do. And, and now that we're on our own, you know, I'm, I'm pretty lucky that I've, I've learned those skills myself. So uh, I want to talk about my favorite casino in Oklahoma City, the Hard Rock. Oh. Plus your memorabilia is in there hanging in the walls. And then this is the photo we're talking about here. <laughs> so let's talk about this photo shoot and then how amazing Hard Rock is. <laughs> Yeah, the the Hard Rock is it's in Tulsa, so um, you know, that was that they were uh, kind enough to let us come in and do the the photo shoot there. I don't I don't know if you know, but it's pretty rare to be able to go into a casino and, and do a, a photo shoot. So um, you know they set us up with a couple of beautiful ladies there and uh, just having a good time and just stuff. <laughs> let us come in and, and drink it up and, and have a good time it was uh, a lot of fun i believe this was new year's right or halloween no actually um we, that was just we scheduled the shoot and then i think um it might have been you know maybe a month later or so we went back and did um an acoustic performance on, on new year's eve mm -hmm. so it was cool man it was a lot of fun Oh, no, I've always enjoyed uh, hanging out with you guys, seeing you on the road. Uh, we, uh, before we started taping, uh, you, I got to see you guys with Motley Crue a few times. What was that crazy experience like playing with those guys? <laughs> was, and was there a lot of partying after each show? You know, uh, you know, they've they've 
uh, toned it down a lot, you know. So I think at the, it was funny when we first got on the tour. Um, you know, we weren't able to like escort guests backstage, and we we had to keep all of our drinks on the bus, and um, you know that was really against everything that we were about, especially then. So, you know, we, we kind of, we were smart asses about it and, you know, threw little fits and, um, you know, it was fairly playful, of course, but, uh, you know, eventually they kind of loosened up and, you know, every night it was like their entire crew was at our bus. So like our bus was party headquarters every single night. And, um, there were, I can't tell you how many nights, um, guys from their crew just passed out on our bus and ended up having to ride with us cause we couldn't get them off. So it was, it was, it was crazy. It was a lot of fun. All right. Uh, we're getting ready to approach Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then new year's. What are you guys' plans for 2020 or if you are allowed to app release any of that yet? Um, yeah, we're, we're looking at for, for new year's, we may play uh, a show in Canada. So that might be, um, that might be fun. Um, but we're uh, we're probably going to be taking a little bit of time off um, coming up. Um, Mike's going to have a, a pretty serious back surgery, so we're going to kind of let him heal up. And uh, in the meantime, Marshall and I are going to release another project, side project. Um, so we're going to actually be making an announcement about that on on Monday. So um, we're going to be putting some new music out that's different for us. It's kind of I don't know. There, there aren't really any rules with this project, so it's all really, uh, just really different and unique. I think so. We're excited about it. All right. And is there uh, any sponsors or uh, people that you need us to plug or share while we're doing this? No, no, I don't think so. I think we're we're all good. Um, just you know, for me, I always want to you know say thank you to all the fans out there that have supported us for as long as you have. Uh, you know, we we consider ourselves to be very lucky that we're still here doing this today. So. And it's it's all because of the fans, so thanks. All right, well, hey, this is Jeremy, Cody, Hinder, Kansas Crossing. They're going to be on stage shortly. You can check out the music and the links below, and we'll take care of all that for you. So that's, awesome, man. Thank you so much.